So oh, okay. right. it's all good stuff. Go, 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 go. Welcome to Movie the Podcast. That's right, Movie the Podcast. We're uh we're off we're off this week. Well we're off fucking and you're uh, theme and you're, this week because yeah, in my you're honor like fifty years old now, I think. Yeah. That's this right. might be the only birthday pick that didn't make me want to kill myself, so good job all around, Gogs. <laughs> hey, we thought we watched the How High, a movie that turns out I had never seen before. Shocked. Um shocked. Agreed. Shocked. Starring Red Man and Method Man. Um two Red of Man the and most Method charismatic Man. Rappers turned actors, I think, we've ever seen on the show. Well, like, we've seen Method Man act before, but, like, Red Man is, like, an unnaturally kind of good, at least comedic actor. Oh, he's a good comedic actor. Yeah, like, you, yeah. you can tell you can tell they had a ton of fun in this movie. Fred Willard's in it. Like Fred, Fred he, he an all-star, TJ, I would get that reference, but as white guy acting weird right. in black movies, he an all-star. I actually watched the Pims, um... The, the Pim's, uh, hood movie review after I watched the movies. Oh, okay. he did one on, he did one on How High. Oh, did he do Mark the Fred Willard? Did he do He and All Star? No, no. Oh. He, he actually didn't drop the He and All, or He and All Star for anybody, even though there's a oh. couple of, uh, All Star black actors in this. I'll put it, Mark, uh, Mark I'll put it uh, Say by the Vell fame. She's yeah, in before she went hot. crazy. But yeah. like, she's like the worst actor in the movie. He's yeah. crazy now. What did she do? Oh, she she had all kinds of plastic surgery, one kind of goofballs. Oh. Hi, what the hell is this, Goggs? What is what did you just do? That's Bill Belichick stumbling out of this house in Southie after getting his 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 dick adjusted. <laughs> Southie or South <laughs> Southie. Oh. After getting his dick adjusted. Oh no. Oh. I wish I didn't see that. That's just oh, I didn't see it. He's like disturbingly red. He's like an Alex Jones <laughs> level of guy. red. He looks like one of those <laughs> fucking. He looks like one of those gas station like Big Mama sausages. Oh, the pickled sausage. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Well, he's probably all jacked up on Trucker Buzz dick pills or whatever. So he's just I, you know, those John Jones joints. I am pro uh, pickled so- gas station sausage. I just want to put that out oh, there. Yeah, I pickled anything. I'll, I'll yeah. eat. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we watched How High this week. Yes. Uh, which is a live action, like, pot looney tune. Is the yeah, it's like, like, it's like it's Animal like, House like, if Animal House was funny. I yeah. love Animal House, but you're right, it is like Animal, Animal House. Animal House. 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 Uh, Animal so, House. <laughs> what did you all watch this week? Out! Out! I guess I should have started with the birthday boy. Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm retracting my Alec and going to the birthday boy gogs. <laughs> Um, Sorry, Alex. Hurtful. Uh, I watched the thing with Alex, so it's tabled. Tabled. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, yes. I also watched. Uh, I also watched the thing. Check it out. It rules. And, and uh, have you ever I watched think... the the stupid prequel remake that they? Yeah, did? No. The one with the girl, your girl, and Ramona Flowers is in it, right? Yes. Why? Yeah. That's bad. That movie's really bad. bad. Why did you? Why did you did it? I, I did watched, it because it love of the well. game. I suppose. Ooh. Yeah. It's not, Man, if you ever wait, wondered you why you watched for love of the game, no, I watched that movie's the good. Thing that movie for is for surprisingly love of the game. good. Yeah, it's the best it boring. Show? It's like the best boring movie. No, I think we we kicked it around, but then went with draft day. Oh, we watched he got game. Excuse me. Yeah, correct. Yes. But no, uh, the thing rules. That movie kicks pile of ass. Movie that love. only I liked because everybody else is racist. What, go on, go thing? Oh, just wait. No, till this he got game. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the other thing I watched, uh, Alec uh, watched with me. So if we're going to talk about that, uh, Alec. We watched uh, Marvel's The Marvels. The Marvels. Huh. And let me ask you a question. Alec, I usually save this for uh, the feature film, but uh, was your favorite aspect of The Marvels the wokeness? I mean, because you are pretty woke. You are like every week you are pepper trading, pepper trading. There's a word for you. <laughs> the <laughs> old <laughs> agenda. Pepper trading. The old oh, pepper trading. trading. Gotcha. Like I saw well, that well, that thing you posted, that fake quote. <laughs> I mean, it was a and joke. I sat there for like two seconds, like, was that? Did they actually say that? In the movie? I'm <laughs> unfamiliar. But like every, every can, like, can I get an ex- explanation of the post? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'll I'll send it to you, Sean. I'll okay. Send it to you, so we don't have to uh, talk yeah, about it too much meme. to try to not yeah. too much oh, okay. to try to describe, but it'll set us back a few minutes more. 
Um, like, I didn't think it was super, like, woke, quote unquote. Like, I'm literally just kidding about the, like, I, yeah. you know, I don't really. Is like, it like, like, um, uh, what, what is the fucking, the line from the boys when they're making the, the seven women movie? Like, not sisters doing it for themselves. What the fuck is the, I can't, the joke I, I they can't, keep making? I can't remember. No. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. Mm. But like, it's a movie with three female protagonists, so. You know, and a exactly female what, you, you know exactly what the re- re- reviews are going to be like. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. Late, the, the badass, the, the bad guy in the movie, the big the the big bad end guy is also a lady. The yes. big bad bitch. Hey, Star, is, 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 that, is that is that bad. girl a boy too? <laughs> yes. yes. God, I love <laughs> that show. <laughs> was her name Dar Dar Ben? Was that it? So here's the pro- here's one of my problems. Everyone was referring to her by her name by the second act, and I don't recall her being introduced to anyone. Hmm. Like I, I don't, can I, can I think I yeah. like, but she's, she's like the she's, she's like the, the counselor of the Cree. She's the new accuser, right? Oh, okay. She has so, she has Ronan. God, men can't have nothing for themselves. She now we got Ronan, the accusers. Ronan's, uh, Ronan's hammer. Believe all That's women. Cool. Mm. Hey, um, um, shit. What was I? I was going to ask you guys something. I forgot. Uh, oh, what is the the take in the room on Brie Larson? In because I find her like not super compelling in a lot of stuff. Like, I mean, I liked her in Scott Pilgrim, but, like, I find her kind of off-putting, and I don't know what it is specifically. I liked her in this. I liked her in okay. Captain Marvel, if I remember. I liked her in Room. That movie's... Yeah, Room's really good. But, like, I, I liked totally her in that. Like her. I, I've seen stuff where she's done interviews with Steve she seems really, like, stiff, and, like, like, like on a lot of, like, Marvel press junkets, it seems like she's not having as much fun as everyone else. Well, well I, I imagine after the weird... five thousand yeah. fucking one of those things, it ain't that much fun. Well, also, yeah, but like I don't like, know, probably gets, like literal death threats from yeah, being a female. People, yeah, yeah probably like, not yeah, way too far with how much they hate her for some reason. Like she was good. I think she was the daughter on United States of Terror. Like that was a good show. I like. She was. I, yeah, yeah. I do have some questions about because I was thinking about this some more. If you ask about the villain, Islam? No, nobody knows anything about this villain. That villain apparently was in, like, two comic books. No, no, that's oh. not my question. My question is, and I, I don't recall in... So one of the big things, this isn't a spoiler, they kind of come right after this, like, very early in the movie or uh, early enough. Um, One of the big things is there, all, all the Kree are referring to Captain Marvel as the Annihilator. And did she destroy the Supreme Intelligence in... The previous Captain Marvel movie, and I forgot that. Yes. Okay. Because oh. the Supreme Intelligence was played by uh, what's her name? Not uh, not Annette Bening. Was Annette Bening? Uh, the it chick was... from American Beauty. Yeah, I think it was okay. her. I think yeah. it was. I can't. She played I have... the Supreme Intelligence, but then it turned out that it was like a huge AI that yeah. like basically personified itself as her. So. Um, she did go back. I don't know if they actually showed her destroy it, but it was alluded to that she went back to destroy it to free the Kree from so, blah, blah, blah. So I think one of the things they talk about in this movie that I think would have been much more interesting was, like, spoiler alert, at some point, like, it's it's revealed that Captain Marvel is powerful enough to reignite a dying sun. So, like, she's, like, the most powerful thing in the MCU, right? Um, she pretty much is. And so like, like, that's why in Endgame, they wrote her out of the movie for most right, of the movie. Because, because she's like a magic bullet, right? Yeah. So the the interesting thing that they explore in this movie, and I wish they had done more of the exploration of it, is when you have someone that's effectively flawless from a power standpoint, they don't – they would they would spend more time – like exploring how her good intentions go wrong, which they do do in this movie. I just wish they had like spent more time with that. Like the reason that sh- the Cree hate her is because her, that what she thought was a good thing turned out very bad for them. And then it's her trying to undo that, but they do it. Like there's a lot of action and other stuff happening in the way. And then she just punches her way into a solution at the end of the day. It would have been cooler if it was more like, I think like a series of her mistakes and her trying to make amends for the fact that she's her only flaw is the fact that she's like it's like a um with the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Like I yeah. think that's kind of an interesting story. Well, it, it because, sounds like, like you're kind of asking for like a deeper character study than they're probably willing to make for like a dumb. Well, like kind of like, like an all star Superman sort of like because Superman's flawless, but then you 
give them some flaw like the like the flaws you have to deal with are I, mental. I, I know, but like, in, like I'm glad you brought that up because they've been kicking that around forever. I think that that book is unfilmable. Like, I don't know how you adapt that, that's, but like, that's, uh, that's what James Gunn says his Superman movie be is bad. most about. Yeah, and I know. Yeah, I, I just I just reread it and I was thinking that same thing. Like, I don't know how you make this a movie that's not clunky as shit. Yeah. Right. Um. Like, back to the back to the Marvels. Uh, everybody's really good in it. Uh, the girl Iman, whatever her name is, who plays uh, Kamala Khan, like she's so good, and you could tell she's, she's having like the time of her life in this movie. She's like so charming and endearing. Uh, Monica Rambo is phenomenal. She's great. Um, is the girl Kamala Khan? Is she a mutant in the movie? Is that a spoiler? I don't know. Like I, I'm kind of disconnected from a lot of shit lately. But like that, that came. They said that in the show that she had, Miss Marvel. Uh huh. At the very end, like, they found a mutation in her blood. Okay. And they said mutation, so technically she's a mutant. Okay. Um, but she's a blast, and, like, so they so something happens where they, all their powers get, like, they say, like, quantum entangled, where when any two of them use their powers at the same time, they switch places. They build, like, basically teleport. I don't hate it. So, yeah, like, Kamala, cool. Kamala Khan's, like, in her bedroom, and she does something with her powers to make, cause in the comic, in the movie, she has light based powers, or in the MCU, in the comics, she's, she's like, stretchy kinda like, powers. Uh, yeah, she's like, kind of Green Lantern ish. Oh, she doesn't uh, have the stretchy shit in the, in, co- in the comic, she's basically like, well, no, yeah, 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 Mr. Fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. Yeah, in the I, movie, she's okay. got like, guy like Goxley, like Green Lantern ish, like, huh. she can like, okay, I didn't know that. Great con- hard light construct. It's easier to film. We've seen yeah. what stretchy powers. Well, they look probably like. don't. Well, they, well, also too, if they're going to do the Fantastic Four, they're probably like, we can't have two people stretching. That'll be confusing. It's the Beast Nightcrawler thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah you'll have true. one a young Pakistani girl and one an old white man. Yeah, you know, very, yeah. yeah. How are we gonna How are we gonna confused. separate that? Yeah. But uh, I thought it was well written. Like it's a little clunky at some points, and there's some things that unfortunately you probably needed to watch the show to get. Yeah, uh, I, I was not up to. I was not up to date. And again, it, it like, starts I, like over, this, but overall, like, it's fun and it's like, I, it's, it's like fun and it's just kind of goes and like, it's got some problems and it's not perfect, but it's so fun and everybody's so kind of charming that you don't care. Samuel L. Jackson is a blast. Like when, I guess, I guess he likes these mm-hmm. Captain Marvel movies because these are like the movies he's been most compelling in, like, in pretty much the whole MCU. He has so much fun with it. Um, Again, I'm super disconnected from anything, so, but like, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. Is like, is this whole phase of these movies and shows like going anywhere? Like, or is it just kind of like, does it seem like they're still kind of figuring it out? I have not I, seen like, it kind of, what it feels like, like, they're all introducing like various ways to get into the multiverse. Yeah. So they're setting, they're basically, I think this whole phase is just literally to set up the next phase. I mean, when did Endgame uh, come out? Like, how long has it been since then? I can't remember, 2019. Yeah. It's been almost five years. They've been kind of meandering around, but I think they're starting to focus everything again, because apparently, I didn't watch it yet, but Loki Season 2 really starts to hone in on Kang again, and Quantumania did. And I guess, I'm pretty sure I read that Jonathan Majors, like, got past all that stuff. He got cleared. Yeah, he got it. So they don't got to worry about uh, recasting Kang or anything. Yeah. Um, but this movie's a blast. And, like, spoilers, like, there's a stinger that is more multiversal. More multiversal stuff that introduces characters from another universe. They should just put the, fucking, they should put the new character. universe in the movies. Just fuck everything up. Was oh, it the God. X-Men? Just say it. Who cares? Yeah, just, just say it. It was, it was Beast. Like it was Kelsey oh. Grammer's Kelsey just Grammer. Kelsey beast. Grammer beast. Was it just him falling off that stage on that play? Because that shit's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny as hell. Uh, also, if you want to see somebody a funny fall, Google gorillas fall. That like, there's a performance that the gorillas did, and uh, the guy that comes out and does the rap part during Clint Eastwood. You know how like rappers sometimes are just, like walking across the state. It's not L. It's another guy. Or Dell. Yeah. Dell. 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 Um, he falls off the stage, 
And they cut back to the other guy. The guy, I can't remember his name, Damon something. Damon like Albarn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They cut back to him, and he's like, he doesn't really realize what happened. And then he like, he like pauses for like a minute, and then he runs over to see if he's okay. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, give me a super cut of just people falling off stages. I'll, I'll watch it all day long. Yeah. Apparently the bad guy from the Marvels movie, did you guys see Velvet Buzzsaw? She was in that. Oh, yeah. yeah she's like, I enjoyed Velvet Buzzsaw. She, uh... Yeah, 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 I saw that, too. She's the one who gets, like, melted into the wall. Oh, okay. Um, but I thought it was a lot of fun. And, like, honestly, my favorite part was all the parts with, uh, Miss Marvel, with Kamala Khan. Like, they've done great with that character, and I hope they keep building it. She steals, like, an iPad from Nick Fury. At the end, she's, like, assembling the Young Avengers. It shows oh, no, she her, did. she, like, sure. it's really funny, because she's in Kate Bishop's apartment, like, in the dark, recruiting her, and it's line for line, like, all the shit Samuel L. Jackson said at the end of Iron Man. Yeah. She's like, I'm putting a team together to combat big threats. That's kind of oh, interesting. I wonder, I, I mean, oh, God, interview. please introduce that insane fucking Scarlet Witch ghost children plot line. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God, yeah. Tommy and, uh. What, what, well, Tommy and also, and Wiccan and Speed, right? Tommy oh, and Wiccan. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't Wicked wasn't speed spoilers for a twenty year old comic, but wasn't Iron Lad a version of Kang? Yeah, if yeah, I remember correctly. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Eli was um, Isaiah Bradley's they, grandson, and they've already introduced Eli. He was in the Winter Soldier show. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Watch. Again, like I'm yeah. super disconnected. Yeah, he I thought that, that Young Avengers, that first run was really good. So it was, it was Runaways. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Those oh, were, yeah I like Runaways, Runaways a lot. Runaways is some of my favorite. Yeah. Favorite stuff. Uh, anything else, Monsieur Alec? Monsieur. Um, <laughs> Gogs, you were done already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's fucking. Uh, the only other thing I watched, I watched it a couple weeks ago, and I don't can't remember if I said anything about it. It's called The Black Demon. It's the mm-hmm. shark movie. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, you came you out, love a came shark out, movie. Came out this year. Um, it's not very good. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, a shark like movies. that. Who would have known? Most shark movies aren't very good, to be fair. True. The shallow the, uh, shit though. The, the shallow poster, the poster's aggressive as hell. Yeah, it's uh What about Josh, Street Sharks though? Josh Lucas rock. who's not a very good actor. No, he's not. I just realized the other day he does he does the Home Depot commercial voice now. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess Gene Hackman either died or stopped doing it, so now it's Josh Lucas. His wife peed her pants. Or is that Josh Duhamel? I can't remember which one she's married to. She's married to Josh, a Josh, Josh or was. Duhamel, yeah. Oh, okay. Is he the Transformers uh, one? Yes. Which and one's the Josh Va- Lucas? The Vegas one. Josh Lucas is, um, uh, Glory no, Road, and he was in, uh, he said no. Don, not Don Beebe, uh, Leo Beebe, and, uh, Beebe, the, the Bill's wide receiver? He was in, uh, he was in Josh Riddick, Lucas? he was the bonny, bounty hunter in Riddick that was taking Riddick. Oh, in, fucking, in, oh, in what Black. is his name? Griggs? Greg? What the Whatever. Fuck? Yeah, and yeah. he's in, uh, he's in, um, oh, okay. in All yeah, Right, yeah. All Right, All Right. What's that movie? Um, He's in Ford v Ferrari. He's uh, he's in, he's Leo Beebe, the piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, Leo Beebe. Yeah. Well, that guy is a good actor. And though. he he uh isn't he? He's in American Psycho. He's one of Patrick Bateman's friends. Yeah, yeah. And he was in uh he What's was the, the bad guy. He was one of the bad guys in the Incredible Hulk Ang Lee movie. If you remember. Oh, what's, what, what's the movie that's not and Fast Times? Here's, here's the fun. High. Here's the most fun part, uh, of Josh Lucas. Voice of Home Depot. Alec we literally just said that. Literally, literally, literally just said literally, it. Literally, literally just said it. Literally, just literally. Said it. Basement, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Basement would fly if you're not in a basement. Well, hey, you've, been to my, you've been to my apartment. It's it's an above ground that. basement. No, it's like a dungeon, basically. <laughs> it's an upstairs basement. <laughs> Sean, help me out. What movie is it? With the, with uh, the fucking, uh, they're paddling fucking, all the kids. Yeah, yeah, fucking um. Oh, with uh, what's his Daisy 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 with yeah. what's his face from Empire Records. Days uh, yeah. and your boobs. Ben Affleck. So dynamite drop in TJ. Black thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Black Demon's based on a Mexican legend. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's like a How about a like, black demon. El Demon Negro. This guy El Demon Negro. Oh, sorry. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Finish, finish your, your shark thoughts. No, I'm done. Okay. This guy, yeah, hold on. So it's going to be like 45 minutes. This one's going to be like four hours. I, no, I no, assume no. that the, the shows went more smoothly when I wasn't around. Sorry. No. Not smoothly. Fine. We just had no movies to talk about. 
Yeah. Oh, so nice. I only watched one thing, so it'll be fast. So what happened in Black Demon? Uh, Josh Lucas works as like a safety regulator for an oil company, and he goes to a rig that he signed off all these safety regulations for. But they all failed, so the area was like poisoned with oil. So the Mexican village, the black demon came out of hiding to like avenge them. And ate all the people off the oil rig. And he's going to figure out where all the people are and why the rig's falling apart. And then him and his family are about to get eaten. Did the oil prevent, wouldn't the oil kill the shark? It's a demon uh, shark. You're the black oil demon. Looks, oh, it's a demon, demon shark. It's a literal demon shark. What is oh, it's not just a clever name. <laughs> it's uh it's not very good. That's a shame. Well with a plot like that, you know, I'm surprised. Oh, we're about yeah, to watch like, it. <laughs> Go shark ahead. movies like they make them way too convoluted. Yeah. You don't need a whole lot of window dressing for sharks sharks to be scary and to be eaten by a shark. What was that movie? Did anybody Alec if anybody seen it, it must have been you. That movie came out. I remember we went every movie we went to had that fucking uh preview for the movie where the shark was in somebody's house. Remember it was like underwater? Uh, that no, was an alligator. It was, it was an it? alligator. Or was it an alligator? That was, uh, okay. That was crawl, crawl. right? Crawl. I didn't yeah. see that in the theater, but a uh, uh Yeah. Alexander Jaws directed it. It was it wasn't bad. Okay. That you're yeah, right about alligators. that trailer show, Sean. That that alligator is everywhere. Dude, it was that trailer and Twenty One Bridges. I swear to Christ, I saw that trailer forty five times. <laughs> like, yes, a hundred percent. Twenty One Bridges, man, that movie sucked. Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> that ended up being a big disappointment. Too many bridges. Yeah, not enough. <laughs> um, Polarizer. That's all the movies. That's all the movies. I the only other thing I watched. I finished uh, the Twisted Metal show, and uh, it picks up, and it gets pretty good, and it's mm-hmm. not great. But it's still pretty fun, and it's an easy way to pass a few hours. There's only like eight episodes; they're all like a half hour a piece. Um, but Anthony Mackie's really good at it. Love Anthony Mackie. Yeah, and like you were asking me the other day, I think one of you asked, "Is it a tournament?" Yeah, yeah. And no, it's not. But it sets up a tournament for season two. Oh, they uh, did the fucking two. Mortal Kombat thing where it's like, now we're going to start the tournament. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Where, when are they going to get to the tournament? Um, just, just tell. But they just rules for Outworld. To did invade. they tease Calypso at all? Because that's my favorite character in the whole Twisted Metal thing. They they don't show him, but he they, like his voice is in it. He talks through like a speaker. Who's the guy okay. with the wheels for the arms? Axel. Axel. Come on, how do you forget that? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing a fucking bit. I forgot his fucking name. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that deep and twisted metal lore that I remember this shit. Any name, his name is literally what he is. He's the next two wheels together. Oh my god. <laughs> If his name was Tyrod, and, and, uh, and I assume fine. Calypso's actually a fucking Caribbean dance, right? Like that—that's no, what that no. guy. Yeah. So suck a dick, suck a dick. Shut up. <laughs> what? Yeah. God's real name is. Oh, no, <laughs> Axel is literally an Axel. Like that's oh, the joke. Yeah. What a great, what a great character. Also, how did he not constantly just get <laughs> eviscerated by all the gunfire and missiles? Why don't he wipe his bottom? Because he's got. Like, what? I'm sure he's not arm. concerned with that. What? <laughs> he just lets loose as he rides. <laughs> like a horse. Well, what else can he do? Like, he can't do anything. He can't do Do you think he's just running around just like lamenting his itchy asshole the whole time? That's the real Calypso punishment? <laughs> I want that movie. Oh, <laughs> God. Come on, Sony, make another fucking... Just, like, the, my dinner with Axel, like, some real serious, like, what this guy... Like, Paul Chadwick's concrete, but... Does oh, anybody would, get that I reference? Would, yeah, I my got dinner it. with Andre. I would definitely okay. read that. Oh, it was, uh, it was Wallace's Sean's birthday yesterday. Oh, nice. Shout out. Concrete was a, a book about this, this like, giant, like, rock monster, but just, like, what his boring day-to-day life it was awesome. <laughs> It's good really concept. good, actually. It's, yeah. it's a cool concept. Nobody, nobody liked I, my shark joke I dropped in the chat. <laughs> no, I, I, oh. I, that is so distracting. Stop yeah. doing that. I don't. Want, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry about uh, anything else, Mister Alec? No, TJ. Uh, I watched. Sean, I didn't go yet. I watched one thing. Sean hasn't gone yet either. But I'll, I'll be real quick. I watched one movie. 
Uh, hmm. Some Japanese film that came out in 1997, which I cannot believe I've never seen before. Um, it's called Cure. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Like, it just got a uh, Criterion edition, and that's why I was like, what's this movie? And then I read up on it, and people were, like, glowing about it. I totally understand why. So it is a, it is a very odd version of, like, the movie Seven. It is a murder mystery police procedural. But, like, ultimately, it is it is one of these movies that's, like, kind of way more than the sum of its parts. Like, it's kind of a meditation on, like, what it is to be, like, human and, like, life. And basically, like, when you're stripped down to, like, your core desires, you're probably not a great person at all. It's kind of weird. I don't know, like, probably nobody gets this. But it kind of has the same... It has a lot of the same messaging that the movie Stalker has, which is another movie I fucking love. But yeah, nobody gets it, even though we've talked about this movie at least fifty-five times. Like, Stalker, the yeah. one that the have we talked about like the deeper on? theme of Stalker? No, see, there yeah. you go. Thank you. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, but uh, the thing is that this movie, even beyond all that, like it's just it's beautifully shot. It, it is dripping with this just like really crazy like. It just feels creepy. Like, it's hard to describe because it's got, I would never say it's like a horror movie, it, but it's very, it just makes you uneasy. Like, the whole, just looking at the fucking screen, like the way it's it it shot. Like, a, like, like an awesome. I Saw the Devil kind of deal? Actually, that's a great comparison. Yes, very Which much one? so. Which uh, one? I Saw a comparison. I, I, okay. <laughs> I, I Saw, saw the Devil, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not, it's not like possum is more like in your face. And so is I saw the devil. It's much more yeah. violent. This would be, I mean, there's a couple of scenes that are pretty violent. I guess I saw the devil is a pretty decent comparison. Cause it's, and now that I think about it, there's a few moments that are like pretty disgusting, but like yeah. overall it's def. it's even got, it's very tonally. It's very Dogs, have you seen, I saw the devil. It's I'm fantastic. Not. It's so you would Korean. like it. It's all Alex, I, should, I don't think, think you would like it. I think Alex actually of, like, seen it. If I remember, have you? Correctly. What is it? The movie? I, I saw the devil. The devil. It's a Korean movie. It? The guy from Old Boy. It's about like this cop and his wife gets uh, killed. Like when she's her tire goes flat, and it's just this cop chasing down the criminal. And just like how fucked up he is, like it's it's about vengeance. It's Korean, so it's yeah. about vengeance. For some like I thought Korean. Alec had seen it. I forgot. Well, I thought you no, were. Like, I, I don't think I, I don't think I've seen that. It's that. excellent. I, yeah, it's it really well. Really, it's really good. It's but anyway, this vengeance. movie Cure is amazing. I can't believe I've never seen it. Um, is anybody shot, in it? It's shot in this. Not no one I recognize oh, okay. um, or like I'm familiar with. It's shot in this very cold. Like it kind of reminds me a lot of like blue. No, it's more like a like white, but like it's it kind of reminds me of like a lot of the like um, the way Shinya Tsukimoto shoots a lot of Japan, like where it's this kind of like sterile, oppressive, like you know what I mean. Like every exterior is just like like, every building's like the interior of an office building, like that kind of shit. Exactly. Yeah. I, I don't know. I I can't say. I really want to watch this movie again because I kind of don't like. I feel like I got what they're going for at the end, but the ending is like super ambiguous. And I'd really like to like now that I've seen it, I want to kind of um I want to try to like uh, gleam a little bit more out of it because it also deals with one of my other favorite things in movies where the main character starts to lose his grip on reality and you can't really tell what's real and what isn't. And uh like the the antagonist is possibly a hypnotist, but possibly just tells people what they want to hear, and that that brings them to their base or selves. I don't know. It's a fucking masterpiece. Like, I loved it. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. You know um, it's not wise to antagonize Antagony, right? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this many ants since Cincy. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's, re- it's really fucking good. It's on the... I don't know where you can actually watch it, if, unless uh, you have the Plex... But it's Maybe on. I, you can I watch do it. know. I do know that it it got released on Criterion, so that probably means it's on HBO because they get most of the Criterion stuff. Um, according to this, you can watch it on Hulu. So hmm. there you go. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I I thought it was absolutely incredible. I also need to watch uh, more of this director's films because he's directed about eight thousand movies, and I've never seen any of them. Well, it is Japan, um, so. 
Well, well his name is his name is uh, uh, Kiyoshi Kurosawa, uh, which is like got to be no an unfortunate relation. name. <laughs> yeah, no relation. Got to be an unfortunate name to be a Japanese filmmaker named Kurosawa. But he has made a shit ton of movies, and uh, the only th- I have seen he made Sweet Home. Wow, I didn't know that. Sweet Home that is video game. No, Sweet Home was the movie. Then they made the video game. Is the game based is, on a movie? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And then the mo- the that is the basically progenitor, the progenitor to Resident of Evil. Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Anyway, yeah. that's all. Uh, Sean. Oh my God. Uh, I watched. Uh, I've had series of basketball movies. problems. No, I don't watch movies. <laughs> that shit's for like yeah, movies suck. Uh, I guess for one of those words we're not supposed to say anymore. Um. I watched the original Thomas Crown Affair, like those movies. I like, I like every once in a while, I just want to pop on a like, very that. large 60s movie. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's oh, just the like, original. It's, yeah, yeah, the Steve McQueen one. Like, it's, it's mm. fun to go back and watch, like, and try and figure out how they did all these, like, you know, inserts and weird fucking editing tricks and shit. And it's like, sometimes it's just fun to see people act, you know, that kind yeah. of shit. So, yeah. like, it's, uh, it's fine. I watched, uh, it's fun. I watched a documentary on Netflix. Don't ask me what it's called, but it's about this case in Florida where these these people got their kid taken away because the kid had some kind of pain syndrome and like they're giving him ketamine and then they took the kid away and the mother killed herself. Like it's it's pretty oh my sad. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I forget what that's called. But other than that, no, I've just been trying to deal with like the Bucks not figuring out their offense with Dame Miller there, but they'll figure it out. So that's they still got plenty at. of time. It's very early. Yeah, yeah, I know. How are they uh, doing in the end season tournament? Uh, they won the first game. They beat the Knicks, but Dame scored like 13 points in the last like six minutes, and Julius Randle is like shooting like eight percent for. He's having like a Chris Davis esque season. Like Julius oh, Randle is no. having the you know, worst shooting <laughs> season in NBA history thus far. So. But and the guy for half a second, I thought, you, I thought you were talking about the Buccaneers. Like, why does he care about the Buccaneers? But now nah, we're back. <laughs> no, like, it sucks watching. Like, you don't realize how accustomed you are to watching, like, the Ravens and the, the football team until you move. And it's, like, the Bucks and the Dolphins. If you're lucky, you'll get the Dolphins. Like, and that's it. It yeah, that's, that's sucks. Rough, dude. Yeah. And, like, of course I move when the Ravens are actually fun to watch. And, like, I had to live there the whole time with, mm. you know, Joe Flacco and Testaverde and shit and Jeff Blake when they're scoring six points a game in all games. when you want to fucking yeah. drown yourself. <laughs> Jeff Blake and Anthony Wright. Did anybody get up early and watch that fucking New England game yesterday? Holy I don't support show. anything that happens in Europe. You understand that. That is fair. I respect that. <laughs> Uh, I watched it. I, was, so, I, I mean, I mean the game was in Germany. Nothing bad has ever happened in Germany. <laughs> no one speaks mm. German to be mm. man. I I also got bullied from Facebook because I was mean to Israel. So and I just haven't got back on. Based. So I'm missing a lot of context or stuff. Yeah, well, fuck them. Uh, that's it. Let's talk about. All right, let's uh, talk about the best Owl movie named after a song. I. Um. What came two, first, the song or the, the movie? Song. The song. We're, we're two 37-year-old men go to, go to take their they go, go to, to college. Harvard. Yeah, they go to college. After taking I the THCs. Technically, you can go to college at any age, right? So it's fine. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, they take I've done it several like, times at different ages. And they, never take, finished. They, take, they, they take the, the THC. The THCs. Yeah. The, the technical higher competency or something. This is going to be a really weird touch point, and, but this is this movie was the first time I'd ever heard the song Bicycle by Queen. Wow. Yeah, bicycle that race, is, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Real quick, bef- before I forget, this film was directed by Bob Dylan's son. And also okay. produced by Danny DeVito, if I recall. Let, let that sink in. <laughs> the Danny DeVito thing makes sense. Jacob but, Dylan? No, the other, his no. other son. Another son. Not The one not from... The, uh, <laughs> the writer of of one headlight by what the was that album? the wallflowers what a bunch of horse or whatever what a bunch of dick riders those kids are they took their dad's fake name they didn't even rock with his real name oh is that mm. right that what's his yeah, real name is really Zimmerman yeah oh. <laughs> yeah mm. <laughs> well there we have it <laughs> uh, all right anyway, anyway what, what happens in how high guys. A uh, movie Jesus. immediately it starts. With, <laughs> movie starts with titty. Like it's just oh my man. god, what a great titty too. Yeah, also, it's solid. they they cut to her a second time and she covered her titty. And I wonder if it was like all right. I want to before I forget. Movie. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt it two seconds into the movie, but if I don't it say it, I'll will. forget because somebody said titty. 
This movie has the greatest nipple through the shirt in the history of movies with the vice oh. president's daughter. Like, it oh, yeah. is oh, yeah. tremendous. Great. Okay, so. Sorry. So, uh, so movie opens. Uh, Method Man is uh, in his apartment uh, slinging, slinging various weeds for various ailments. He's basically a neighborhood pharmacist. He's growing it. He's hanging out. He's doing his thing. Loving life. There's Titty. Uh, and then uh, his boy comes over. And his boy's like, yo, I met this girl. Here's a here's a selfie of her, and it's just ass. And he's like, all right, cool. He Let me her, give you. He met her on chickenheads.com. Yeah. I can't believe that was a dot .com. You figured that'd be like a dot .biz. Yeah, it's a dot .net or org. Um, oh, oh, it's I a nonprofit. Think, it yeah. literally, it made me laugh, because you remember, I it, it, it immediately took me back to that era in time where, like, just putting something dot .com was, like, the entire joke. That's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this oh, my God. 2001 was this mm-hmm. movie, I think. Um, so, uh, anywho, his boy comes over. His boy's, I don't know, he's got a, he's got a. Joe Flacco, unibrow, sprout. These guys have the two most inexplicable black guy names in cinema history, Silas and Ivory. Well, here's the thing. Silas's name, I looked it up on IMDb. Method's name is Silas P. Silas. Like, he is, he's front and back uh, <laughs> silencing. So they're doing it. He, he gives them some some stuff to make his, his Jimmy Jam Jam, and he's like, cool. No, no, but then he tells him that it 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 won't make his dick hard, but it'll make him not care that his dick doesn't his dick get hard, sucks. which is right. amazing to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then let me tell you something. Just right off the gate, uh, right off the bat, uh, Method Man is just charming. He's just a charming individual. Oh, that um, guy's got so much pussy. Like, it's, it's, oh, he still is. Like, he's without a doubt, decimating. Um, yeah. Also, he's like ripped now. Like, he's shredded. oh my god, he's, he's like he's well, so like red man. deadlifting like five hundred oh, really? yeah. pounds. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So, Method Man he's, had like the premier black guy beard of the nineties <laughs> to the aughts to the knots. Like, it's that perfect like painted in five o'clock shadow. No, he he he's, he was killing it. He's a very handsome fella. Yeah. So he goes. And he sells his weed to his boy, and his boy goes and has an evening. And, uh, it, it you know, as if he saw his own has, demise. Has an evening. Uh, he, <laughs> Have an like, evening. I got Homer's you. night out. <laughs> she's like, I got your back no matter what happens. I could get hit by a bus. I'll always have your back. And then we are treated to a horrific death scene. Uh, oh, yeah, it's like some kind of scanner. Did, did anybody <laughs> recognize the girl from chickenheads.com? No. It's uh, was... Romani Malco's girlfriend from the 40 year old virgin. Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yep. Alec, good job. <laughs> um, also, that scene is very fucking funny. <laughs> he has the funniest, just like fake ass dreadlock wig on, and it's, I don't know. Oh, my God. It really killed me. Like, I thought that was fucking hilarious. That only, looks like the skin mark of Buddha. <laughs> only to be beaten by, <laughs> beaten in hilarity by. This death scene coming up. Oh my god! I I I almost I had to like stop the like I don't you guys know I love dummies falling out of windows. It's one of my favorite movie things. You set it on fire, and this, this is supposed to be a comedy, and it's yeah. fucking body. They like they don't cut away. They literally it was flat. Hit the ground. No, it's a it's a it's a dummy loaded. It's a, it's a oh. mannequin loaded with also, napalm. The, the we skipped over it, but. He gets high watching Field of Dreams, but Tracy <laughs> Morgan, Morgan in it. That's the, every amazing. time they cut to Tracy Morgan, like that, like something, something, Paul can be something. Like, oh my god, uh, pork like, chops are chunky. That's the uh, pork chops are chunky. That's but they didn't. Go, well, it's funny because it's the actual footage from Field of Dreams where they're sitting on the porch and they cut to him as like Joe Jack's, like, damn, you got some nice titties, girl. <laughs> <laughs> But every time they cut to, they to Tracy like, Morgan in this, it was it killed me. They didn't stick with it though. Like they didn't like. Yeah. They, they, I was really hoping Tracy Morgan was going to show up throughout the whole. They movie. They don't stick with anything. This movie, every scene is twenty eight seconds long, and it's perfect. That's true. It's basically yeah. just sketches. Well, from here yeah. on out, it's sketches. yeah. It's so, not really a movie. It's, it's not a, a movie. Of, it's it's like it's a like bunch uh, of vignettes if, put together that yeah. sometimes it's, it's, have themes in common. It's, it's like if somebody, uh, it's, it's somebody like a Jim learning, Jarmusch movie. I was just about to say, if somebody learning disabled wrote uh, coffee and cigarettes. Like, <laughs> and it reminded me a lot of uh, Caddyshack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, actually, yeah, that's yeah a good, like people just up. sitting around, like, "Well, this would be funny. Let's film that." Well, you figure Method Man and Red Man, like, it doesn't really. 
make any sense of the story, but whatever. Yeah. You're the one you paying for it. Those two guys are of the age where they would have seen those movies pretty regularly. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Like, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so anyway, so his uh, Method Man's best friend dies a fiery death. Uh, yeah, this boy's just like he gets he he falls asleep with a joint in his in his mouth. It lands on his dreads. He bursts into flames and then flies out a window. And then only later do you find out that he survived that and then gets annihilated by a bus. But he now, comes up looking like a meal from RoboCop when he falls in the yeah. fucking acid. <laughs> so he so the next scene, uh, Method Man is got his boy's ashes and he is putting him into a Folgers can. Because Method Man is going to grow some weed with his boy's ashes. Because that's what you do. That's what I would do with you guys. Um, thanks. Thanks. And then, also, Method Man also lives with an old man who is possibly his father, but not confirmed. Pops, so I think yeah, but I mean. <laughs> who, who know, who's to say? Um, Red, man lives, Red Man lives with his mom. There's the mom. The mom from Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two, two. Was she? No. Is she also the mom in Friday? She is the mom on Friday. And she's also yeah. in that show, she's Amen. On, Amen. I Amen. Not yeah. yeah. Seven. Well, okay. those shows ran back to back, so I know why you're confused. I watched a lot of well, WWE. They, so also, now, they also, those shows all crossed over a ton, too. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. They'd have those two shows and then Empty Nest and Golden Girls, I think, all together. Yeah. And, so like, the, show, the characters would just randomly show up at each other's shows. <laughs> He's red well, like windexing how, uh, the plastic couch. How perfect, yeah, strangers, yeah, yeah. perfect strangers would show up on uh Urkel show. Yeah. Sometimes. Like Urkel. Um so why you always gotta talk to me like that in front of company? Who these bitches ain't nobody. <laughs> this, this movie's it's not a movie, but it's a lot of very funny scenes. Yeah. Um so now so Red so Method Man's like, all right, I'm gonna learn I'm a botanist, I'm gonna go to oh. botany school, I'm gonna take the THCs. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to become a, a botanist, a plant man. I'm going to make my own plants and get my own lab like we always talked about. A so he goes to go take man. a plant man. You know, like Alec Holland. Yes. So, Or I imagine take, a character in Mega Man. Or a plant so, who thinks he's a man. I no, don't know. It someone, depends on which version. Like, like Booma Kawanger. Remember him? Um. So now. Nope. No. Nope. It's a Mega Man. It's a Mega Man 2. Doesn't matter. So now. His name was so now Boomer they go. Wanger? Yeah, it didn't make any sense. I just don't. I don't know what either of those words mean. Normally there was a something. there was a leaf man. If I remember there was. correctly, and a wood man. Um. So now he goes to go take some THCs, and he needs to smoke before he does so. So uh, he realizes he doesn't have any papers or a blunt. Uh. Meanwhile, uh, Red Man has been bullied into doing the exact same thing. Uh. And he comically he's been tries going to, to community college for six years. Yeah. yeah, so it's a real, real Van Wilder situation. He's rolling up. Uh, he's rolling a joint on his dashboard. And he turns on the air conditioning and it blows his papers and weed all around his car. And he They're does both freaking the out. funniest fucking physical acting where he's just beating the <laughs> shit out of the dashboard. <laughs> so now these two gentlemen who have never met before uh, form a bond over the fact that they both need to get high before taking this college entry exam. Uh, so they smoke. Uh, the, 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 the ivory weed, and, uh, then they Which, can see yeah. ivory. So he's yeah. in the back seat of the car, and they're like, ah, oh, cool. And then, I think Red Man goes to pass it to Ivory's ghost, and, um, well, he's not there no more because he's a ghost. But he's like, listen, I know everybody in the afterlife. I will give you all the answers to all the problems. So another like, another thing that's lived rent free in my head is Redman upon realizing this, he goes, I gotta try that shit. And he's wandering around in the background trying to walk through things to wit Red or Method Man goes, He a ghost man, and Red Man goes, Oh, well that explain everything. <laughs> <laughs> so they 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 both ace the what is the men's the basically the ACTs, the THCs. And the, SATs. Yeah. the THCs. Meanwhile, you get a scene with uh Fred Willard and the stuck up dean of students, uh, and he's like, Hey man, we need more color around here. I think he literally uh, says that. Uh, yeah. and he's like, What about these two guys who aced the THCs? Uh, and, and the stuck up dean, cause it's always a dean, uh, is like, yeah, I don't dean know, Warmer. man, they look yeah. like trouble. Yeah. Um, oh, we'll, 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 yeah. And they, 
Can yeah, we talk about they're, how their their SAT scores cause them to be recruited by not only uh, the Reparations University, but the military and the Catholic Church? Oh, that shit was funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they they scored a perfect score, and then like this wouldn't be possible except you got this, you both had different tests, so you guys yeah. didn't cheat. Here's your you know you hatred for the white devil and yeah. advanced hatred for the white devil and <laughs> volleyball next. <laughs> so. They make it to Harvard, uh, they, and then from this point on, it's just hygiene. Oh, you, you got, but you got to talk about Fred Willard's fucking. It's like, oh, he's shit, great. I'll fuck with you. Shit, I'll fuck with yeah, you, yeah, too. Yeah, Fred that, Willard. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, so good. good. Then we'll, movie, we'll fox with each other. <laughs> dude, Fred, Fred, Fred Willard, Willard fucking he's, he's, he's king. He's, he's great. So uh, Hector Elizondo's secret MVP of the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. as the crew coach. He's <laughs> yeah. wonderful. So then it's just, it's just them just going through various... I imagine this was just Met the Man and Red Man sitting around going, what would be funny to film and what yeah, would be funny is... at a college? And you got, the, just... you got the uptight, like, RA guy or whatever. You got the uptight yeah. RA guy. You got the crew, the the stuck-up, uh, privileged white crew guy. Who's the guy that looks, Lark. like, suspiciously like Kara Elwes, but is yeah. not. <laughs> like, uh, like, you have, it's literally just a cast of stereotypes because you have a, a, an Asian guy that's in right. there. Uh, an you Indian the guy, white friend who Isn't ends up being Indian a guy friend? in there at some point. Yeah, yeah, he's the RA. Indian RA fellow. So I had, I got full confession. I had this movie on VHS, and the nice. first time I saw the scene with the with the Japanese kid throwing up, I okay. laughed so hard I also <laughs> threw up and had to pause it and rewatch it like seven times. Yeah, uh, Redman also has a, a friend that just shows up in the room somehow yeah, named I Need Money. Yeah. <laughs> and he at one point he spins a plate on a turntable. Yeah, yeah with, with with Cypress Hill. Cypress he just Hill shows steals up their Halloween everything. Party. Um So it's them just doing their college thing, but eventually the uptight RA whose bike they stole, and he's got like the bike from uh Pee Wee's Big Adventure, yeah. effectively. Uh it gets stolen, run over repeatedly, which was hilarious, and the parts are stolen again. Um, that guy ends up coming to the Halloween party, stealing the uh, the ivory weed, and then he just goes on a trip. Now, meanwhile, uh, Meth Man and Red Man are trying to figure out how we're gonna how how we're gonna pass how we're gonna get through school without uh, ivory, uh, and they they don't. They start failing immediately. They but, also uh, introduce a an antagonist with ten minutes left in the movie, which is insane. Wait, and like one? it is resolved, Mike Epps. That's wrong. Yeah, oh, baby powder. Mike, like, Mike Epps is hilarious. Baby powder. Yeah, that's why um, your family was all assistant pimps. <laughs> Mike Mike Epps, and I, I'm pretty. This is definitely before Cat Williams, right? He sounds like Cat Williams, or his. Yeah. It, uh, or his well, I wouldn't say before, but like, it's, yeah. Been yeah. pimping since been pimping since yeah. been pimping. Yeah, it's it's very like I was almost like I wonder if they wanted Cat Williams and he wouldn't do the movie. Like it sounded like very. Cat he Williams was too busy thing. getting beat up by children at that time, I believe. <laughs> Look it up. Oh, <laughs> I don't need to. I, it lives right free in my head. I remember, and it happened like three times in one week. He got beat up in a Target. He got beat up in like a fucking parking lot. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> Also, so this the movie whole. has a uh, the uh, the black history teacher, which I would have told you was Spalding Gray if you had asked me. For some reason, I had it in my head that that was him, but it's somebody else. Well, there's a scene where that gentleman An eats a bunch of Spalding pot. Gray. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> eats a bunch of pot brownies and then has a good time. Um, How the fuck Sean, I fail woman studies? I love bitch. Sean, isn't Spalding Gray what they're making fun of in that episode of documentary now? That yeah, I so where I, I, where's it with NASA? Te- where the fuck? I dissociated so hard I shit my shit pants. My <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That shit, uh, way off topic, but that shit, that Spalding Gray, those monologues used to run on Showtime at like 6 in the morning on weekdays, and I thought that's it's what stand-up comedy moment. was. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. the whole thing, the whole thing resolves itself in the end where there's a gala where they smoke a bunch of truth serum weed. No, out you got and Franklin. You have to talk ball. about how they dig up John Quincy Adams. Oh my God, it's horrific. They're like, okay, we're out of ivory. We're out of ivory, so we need to smoke another smart dead guy. 
So they <laughs> dig up John Quincy Adams. And then it's just, it's horrific. They try to like, they put his hand in a blender. They try, they make the one did, white dude smoke a finger and he just starts. Whoever did, I don't know, like this Tom Savini level fucking gore makeup and props they did that was wholly unnecessary for the movie that oh, they're yeah. making, but it I appreciate like it. Of the living dead. Like, that was corpse like, was fucking horrifying and they're cutting it. I was like, fucking man, we gonna do this. We gonna, and they're cutting it up and like they're all throwing it up them. everywhere. They're kind of with bolt cutters for some reason. Oh my which god, is not it's how so I would fucking so, funny. Also, how the hell, how does the corpse of John Quincy Adams, like, still exist? That thing would be, like, dust. Like, I mean, well preserved? God, it was so funny. I, I mean, know. it's very funny. It was like, super gross. Um, <laughs> but then in the end, I guess, like, uh, Red Man's gonna marry the vice president of the United States' his daughter. Yeah, uh, and, and the vice president by, played by known kid fucker Jeffrey yeah. Jones. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. A little problematic there. Um, well, the whole movie's problematic as shit. Like, I recognize that it is very degrees. racist and very misogynist, but, like, I don't care because it's so goofy. It's so stupid. It's hard to be yeah. offended by something so dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> But then, and then it 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 did one of the the tropes that I feel like we don't get anymore, and I miss from a bygone era. During the ending credits, they showed you outtakes, and the outtakes just look oh, like the, so much the gag fun. reels fucking is there. The gag reel is hilarious. I always love gag reels. Yeah. Um, but that's it's not a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. series no. of scenes. No. Is it? It's fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I, I, um, I mentioned this off recording, but this was part of my like hanging out with black dudes deal, duology with belly. So like, I can't objectively talk about this movie because it is just like of all, like of all the kind of like this type of movie, this is the best one. And I, I don't know like what this type of movie specifically is, but like, this one's the best one. Well, what the, whatever they like, are. Like, it's not like, was, was Belly the movie where they were like, they just told that one guy to get naked for some yeah. reason. And they're like, yeah, get naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since a lot of heat come off that motherfucking couch. But also Method Man. So Method Man is in that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what's the dude's name? He's the hardest dude. in was it Tempe, Arizona? What's the, what's uh, the Nebraska. He's the illest in, in Nebraska. Also, the movie, this, this movie soundtrack is, uh, Bob. The entire this, thing. Yeah, this movie soundtrack rules. Um, yeah. Bombs Over Baghdad may be the most underrated song of that era, and I know, like, it's a very popular song, song, but, like, that song cool fucking song. rules. Yeah, I, I was, I, I had the exact same thought when I was listening to it. I was like, oh man, I forgot how good Bombs Over Baghdad was. That, that song, like, starts insane. Like, the beginning. Yeah, I remember that when that song, came out, I got it in the winter, and it was snowing, and I was driving my 96 Mitsubishi Mirage about 110 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, you're going to get the back end loose to Bombs Over Baghdad. Oh my Baghdad, god, sir. yeah, that was fucking ridiculous. Um, but that's, I mean, that's it. There's not a lot to talk. I mean, yeah, is, I it, is it a good it. movie? Well, we'll get into that. Right. Uh, we'll find Alec, out. That's a teaser. Go ahead. Alec, was your favorite uh, part of this film the drug use? Could be the science, actually, in this time. There was actual <laughs> science in this. But, you know, we've covered science a lot on this show. So we much. we haven't covered drug use that often. No. The science, no? The science wasn't a... Uh... Wasn't there for me. They it wasn't peer reviewed. They didn't use enough <laughs> punnet squares. Oh shit! <laughs> Dude, shout out to punnet squares. Though. Yeah, we, we do love genetics. Do a little genetics up in this bitch. Hell yeah, um, Gregory Mendel, <laughs> um, brother of Menelaus, <laughs> Greek, Greek. Oh <laughs> uh, fuck! But yeah, uh, Alec, what did you like? Did this did we're talking. Like? We're, oh, go ahead. Sorry. What did I like or yes. dislike? Or uh, what was your favorite part? The drugs? Uh, the tit? Did you like that, that real big tit in the beginning of the movie? I don't even remember that. The that. real big tit. Yeah, that's because you're not like a disgusting pervert like me, and that's like immediately all I can remember. Yeah, got it, because you can't see them anywhere else except for old movies. That doesn't You can't matter. find them anywhere. Yeah, but it's a surprise tit. Like, yeah, it's better when it's, you're not looking for it. It's it's about the love of the game, okay? Respect. Yeah, like, if if I had $10 <laughs> on my kitchen table, I'm not excited about it. If I'm just walking down the street, you're like, ooh, $10. <laughs> like, a brilliant analogy. Thank you. I need yeah, that. yeah, that's better than TJ's analogy, which was not one at all. <laughs> I didn't think he would make that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I... I have no, like... I have no strong uh, feelings one way or another. Yeah, like I said, like, 
I said earlier, this movie felt like Caddyshack to me, and that's not necessarily a compliment because I watched Caddyshack for the first time like a year ago. No. Uh, and that may have been a problem. High and watch it. You should have gotten high and watched it. Did you? Uh, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, but I also am just, it's, I'm much stupider than you in general. So I yeah, was same. a little, I was a little drunk. So I guess that counts. Oh, well, I'm very lowbrow. But it's just, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not a movie. This almost could be like a, a like an episode of like something like In Living Color. It's just a whole bunch of scenes. Yeah. It's like Where shit, you, shit that they think is funny. They they're like let's film this. This will be funny. This and is gonna be a weird. Together, like it's a movie. Like it's, a weird it's a reference. Feature length technically, but yeah. But it's, it's like uh, um. Remember when they did Reno nine one one on Quibi or whatever, and all the episodes were like a minute and a half long. Yeah, <laughs> and then they just kind of pressed them together to make full episodes <laughs> later on. Yeah. Yeah. It's similar to that. Yeah. I um, mean. But I have no reverence, like, deep reverence for this genre of movie from that era. And I didn't watch it a thousand times like Sean did when he was in sure. a gang. Um, <laughs> oh. Allegedly. <Yeah>. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly. Um, so I don't have any, like, uh, deep, like, oh. love for it either. Um but I don't know. Like I like Bethan Man. I like like he he's a good actor. I've seen him be good in a lot of stuff, and he's actually pretty good in this. Um, Red Man's fine. Mm. 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 Did anybody watch the the Made in America Wu Tang show? Like I didn't actually see that. The, the one I've heard. I didn't. I heard it's tremendous. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I heard, heard it's too. good too. Is this? It was like produced and like written and everything by the RZA. Yeah. But I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually watch. I really wanted to. I saw. I heard a bunch of interviews with him on like NPR about it and stuff, and it seemed really cool and really what, like what, what in what a age we live in where the Riz is on NPR. <laughs> yeah, he was I on think... like uh, he was on like wait wait don't tell me. We got f- has fresh the, air. <laughs> has the Wu Tang done a Tiny Desk concert? I believe they. It's have. It's just like it, we're so old. We we're are. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are. Yeah, but that's okay. They should. Yeah. Did they play uh, Triumph? Oh, oh, <laughs> that would be tremendous. Yeah, that, that them and Sarah McLaughlin played Triumph. Mm, hell yeah, mm. that's my favorite Wu Tang song. It's a good one. It, it is a very good selection. Um, no one mad at Triumph. Arguably one of uh, Inspector Deck's best opening uh, opening bars. Uh, correct. Like, uh, I think I've, I've talked about it, like, being an adult is realizing that Inspector Deck is the best one out of all of them, technically. Yeah. 100%, without question. Yeah. Oh, but he doesn't cool. get a movie, so here we are. So what's oh, everybody yeah. think? Yeah, where's the Inspector Deck? Numbers time? Uh, this movie's fucking stupid as fuck, but it's a lot of fun. I it's mean, so watchable. Like, wh- like, you also don't have to watch it at all. <laughs> what? No, I is mean, this I kind of in like the vein yeah. of half baked. Like, is that sort of where this movie? Like, is if you were to put it in a bucket with other films of its type? Oh, I think I this like, is even. I guess, but I think it's even less cohesive. I feel like half baked I mean, is a movie. Like, yeah, I yeah. Even watched half baked, and I also don't have the reverence for half baked that a lot of people do. Um, I'm, I'm I'm tepid on that movie in general. It's fine. I mean, I yeah. know, like I I I think that we're all again talking about of an age, right? But like when we were in fucking school and people were smoking weed, like there was a it, like you were getting away with something smoking weed. So like movies about weed was like, oh yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like there was just that the like the st- the high school teenage stoner was just like anything that like pertained to this hobby was like the best thing. You know what I mean? It, like I remember. I had a fucking stoner friend in high school, and he was like, you gotta watch these Cheech and Chong movies, and they're fucking horrible. I'm like, this sucks. Like, I don't like this. He's like, no, it's hilarious. I'm like, yeah, it's not, is it? I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But, I don't know, nowadays, like, weed's legal, so it's like, was it, you're not, was it God? No, it was, uh, you guys remember mm. this fucking guy. Remember Steve Tremble? I mean, he was like really fucked up. Nope. Shout oh, yeah. out Steve Tremble if you're not dead. Yeah. Or something. Or if you're Shout listening out. to this and you're like, I was really fucked up. Uh, that guy. Yeah, that guy sucked. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, five knuckle shuffles, I guess. 
<laughs> See, Alec, we didn't get a super long. Uh, Sean. Uh, Ten. Why don't I, I did this at the same time. Fuck. All right, Sean, go ahead. Sorry. I saw Ten. I fucking love this movie. Like, it's, it's, ten? I, I, yeah, it's Did a you ten. say ten? Yes. Ten, yeah, I said ten. Jesus. Okay. He's allowed to love it. Don't, don't uh, yeah. Don't, okay. You're allowed it, to do whatever it, it, you want. In, in the annals of movie, the podcast yeah. tens, I would put this over cue the winged serpent. Right. Like, oh, and I don't think it's like hard to argue. I'm just, just saying. We always gotta go with that. <laughs> I'm so, the one trying to stand I up. Know, I know, I love you. Throw me uh, under the bus. But, sorry, but that's a terrible opinion. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, we all know like that this, was a spite ten because God yeah. was mad at us. Yeah. <laughs> what was a spite ten? Yeah. It what was a work, <laughs> not a shoot. But I texted the the boys while I was watching this, and like I know every line of this. But with all due respect, sir, suck my dick. Look, did you just call oh, me an asshole? You're an idiot. We didn't even talk about the like the white black history teacher guy. That shit oh. killed me. That I did for cool. a second because like the fucking Spalding gray. What are you two sitting there like a couple of uncle? <laughs> Join your brothers. Get out. Ungawo. Like that shit. How so how the fuck I fail women's studies? I love bitches, <laughs> dude. That shit killed. Uh, Yo, anyway. that shit on your lips got some shit on its lip. Like everything <laughs> that ha- the fucking surprise do host. Oh, like man. I know how I'll wake him up, and he he gets that little ass alarm clock, and like <laughs> fucking. Dude, we're talking about a movie where like. The ghost of Ben. Fr- Everybody gets stoned due to Method Man's uh, fucking truth serum. Fred Willard is so stoned he admits a not only admits a pimp to Harvard, but also has him teach a pimpology class, and like apparently does not rescind this offer once he is not stoned. And also the ghost of Ben Franklin shows up to show that he had a cannon that was a bong that Lark Voorhees discovered. Like That's it's correct. fucking stupid. Um, but, uh, it's, it's great. The only, my only complaint is that Lark Voorhees' character should have been played by Nia Long. I feel like that's more appropriate for some reason, and I, I mm. refuse to elaborate further. Um, EJ. Uh, it's like a, it's like a seven for me, dog. Yeah. I, this movie, this movie's fucking stupid as fuck, but I don't know. The parts that made me laugh made me laugh really hard. But I it's mean, like it a does, dumb puppy, stupid. You know what I mean? Like a lot of whiffs. I mean, there's a yeah. couple, there's a lot of jokes in here that just didn't work. But like the ones that did. Again, you throw a you throw a dummy out a window, and then you make <laughs> it on fire, and then you also make his death incredibly brutal for no reason at all. <laughs> Hilarious. Like the fucking like the the part where. It get it turns into like a fucking surrealist, like a fucking it turns into a fucking Fellini film for some reason. When Redman sees his mom, when they're they're doing the kayak everybody thing. sees his mom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Everyone sees and they don't explain it. Everyone yeah. can see this. It's, it's like what the this fuck isn't is tied it? to the weed hallucination. She is no. just there. She's yeah, she, astrally projecting. Yeah. Um. I mean, there's a lot of funny bits. Like, I, again, like, it's it's super uneven. Like, I'm not going to tell you it's not. But, like, it but also... It never stays is, with anything long enough no. to really, like, you know... No. It is the opposite problem that I had with, like, something like the, um... Uh, the, the, the Ghostbusters. Lodge Door. Oh. No, no. Lodge Door is great. Uh, no, the <laughs> Ghostbusters um, remake. Uh, Which one? The one with Melissa McCarthy. Oh, I where, didn't like, see it. They... They stick with everything too long in that movie. Like they're just riffing every scene, so it's like every scene is like. Well, that's like okay. all Judd Apatow movies. Though. Okay, well, it's not even a Judd Apatow movie. It's the guy that did but uh, it, Paul Feig. Yeah, but Paul it's it's Feig. thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's similar. But anyway, uh, this movie is the opposite of that. Where like they had like what they thought was funny, and then they it goes, you know, twenty five seconds. It's like a it's like a progenitor of like TikTok. It's like everything is yeah. like, very like. ADHD friendly, you know what I mean? Like it's like, yeah. all right, this bit didn't work. Right on to the next bit. I hope you like this one because uh, our next, <laughs> this our first bit is mad about shoe. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, but it, it's great. I, I it's it's a very funny movie. I uh, you know I I think it's uh, it was it was worth my time, and uh, I think Red Man should have been in more movies or should he's yeah. still around? He should be in more movies. Like he's got. I mean, Method Man's good, but I feel like I've seen Method Man in other. He's like a real like, actor at this point. You yeah, know what I, I mean? Kinda, like you're I not felt, surprised. Yeah, that's a, that's exactly right. Where I felt like right. Red Man, I was like, oh, he's really 
good. He's very like, natural. Yeah. yeah. Why isn't he in more stuff? And like, I could see him in like, like a more like structured comedy. Like, I don't know. He's yeah. got a good. Yeah, he, he carries himself well. Like, I don't know. He's I think both he's of them busy did. out there just rhyming over all the Nas tracks. Also, and yeah, I'm just guys, killing it. Yeah. You guys are a lot more familiar with both of these guys and their music. Are they? Like, they're like friends in real life, right? Yeah. Oh my god. They, yeah, they ended up dude. on like a. They ended up on a. They were both signed to Def Jam. It's well, this is without getting real deep into it. Wu Tang was signed to Loud, and they part of the condition of their deal with Loud was that they could all sign solo deals with different oh, okay. labels. So Method Man signed with Def Jam, Red Man was already on Def Jam, and they ended up touring together, and so on and so forth. They put they, out a they tremendous have, album together. The Blackout have, is a yeah, excellent. Both album. of those albums are really good, but the first one's like a classic. And they played the Rock Wild at the end, which might be the best song of that era. They have great chemistry together. Like they really, yeah. you can tell. Like they really, they, they really are just, get along. They're boys. Like they just like. I think Red Man's smart. boys with all the Wu Tang Clan. Also, that bring back, scene, how smart in, is it to make your own movie as a musician and include your own music in it? Oh yeah. So then you oh, get yeah. the royalties off of the music yeah. and the, man, that's brilliant. Back when people also, bought soundtracks, Did, that I'll scene in the gag reel where they're in the vendetta. That's where they're that, in the grave and, and they're just getting fucking hosed down. It's like, yo, shut the water off. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, now this is like this is art. This is life following art now because Method Man has is put he has put out his own brands of cannabis. Like he, you can buy his strains. Yeah. Oh, let's go get some. Let's go. Is it? Does it got ashes of his dead friends in it? It does. If you smoke got, it, you get C O D B. Got old dirty bastards ashes in it. He's not gonna help you pass anything. Uh, uh, no. It's but birthday? you'll do a great job at the Grammys. The yeah. birthday boy is left. Well, Alex still got to go. I thought Alex won already. I no, you. I, I, we, we went way out of normal order, so we went me, then you, then it's uh, Gogs and Alec. Uh, Alec. Uh, I'm going to give it a five. Yeah, I can see that. I didn't I didn't love it. Um, I wasn't you high better. when I watched it, and I probably should have been. <laughs> you should get high and watch it again and see if it yeah. changes your score. No, thanks. <laughs> um, I'm not going to remember this movie. Yeah. I feel like by, by your scoring conventions, this should be at least a six, because the movie's like 80 minutes long. It was like an hour 33, so it's a little oh, longer than that. All right, just, over that just over that 90-minute part. <laughs> Shit. You had 80, 89 minutes, you get a point bump. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can see why people would like it if they had like an affinity to it or anything. But like, I don't care about weed. That like that's not funny to me. I never cared about weed, especially smoking weed. That just seems like the worst. Give me candy. Give me a little. Go- <laughs> give me a little. Yes, all drugs should be candy. Anyway. That would be much easier. I mean, they've kind of I made mean, it. Oh, I see what Alex's saying. Now. Yeah, <laughs> very slow. Yeah. <laughs> I just I, I want candy drugs. I don't want to smoke it. I'm with you um, on that. But yeah, it's a five. I can understand why people like it, especially if you've seen it, like when it came out or when you during your gay initiation or whatever, Sean. <laughs> but uh, I told you guys that story where I was watching the belly at my buddy's house, and he had like the world's first surround sound system, and the cops came to his apartment. I <laughs> believe I you believe so. Yeah. <laughs> um. Gogs? Are you and I told you to get naked. <laughs> get on the couch and get naked. Um, I'm gonna give it. Uh, I watched it Stone Cold Sober, but I I'm still gonna give it a seven. I think I've got too much affinity. Uh, it's not a movie. It's a series of scenes. I laughed at the scenes. Some of the scenes I laughed out loud very hard. Get better, I think a better version of a uh, movie forty three. Yeah, <laughs> I mean yeah. it would have to be. <laughs> But I, uh, I, I think I'm think I'm bringing in some rose colored glasses, even though I've never seen the movie before. I have so much of like just like already Red Man and Method Man are people that I really enjoy as artists. So seeing them have a good time on screen just made me smile because you, you can Dogs tell that has ad hoc post nostalgia for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> but you can tell they were they were enjoying. Someone gave him a budget and opportunity. You got Fred Willard in the mix. Like, it is, it is the fun. chance I just bet all the teams will have a good time in the movie. <laughs> yeah. But no, you know, it's not like... <laughs> I was like that joke. Uh, it's a lot of fun. But I did, the best part about the, that joke, I'm sorry, the button is that they have a window that does that. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, it's a, it, it's fun. Like it's just you know, it's not a movie in the sense that it has a plot, but it's uh, it's fun as a as a as a way to spend an hour and thirty three minutes. So, uh, I might revisit it while Stone and see sure. what if that bump gives it a bump or not. But there I we are. Say, now now it's, I can't say this is probably definitely a movie that would have benefited from watching it with. Oh, we, if we were all together, we would have had and with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah for sure. We had a I would like to watch this and with I, Sean. And I shouldn't what? have watched it while I was also tracking on my phone the Ravens pissing their game away. Oh, oh uh, there, there you go. go. There, yeah, no, you there would definitely. That would have but, been the a, funny thing is about Gogs when he says he watches Stone, he means like Adrenochrome. Gogs does dark shit while we're not around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, just sucking pituitary glands <laughs> over here. Like when is the last movie we all watched together? It was. It would have been. God, was in it one of the Kevin Smith movies? Covids. Oh, was it? Was it like? Was it? Kevin, fucking was it Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back? God, what a way to go! No, out. no, no. What was the? No, the second Jay and Silent. What the fuck is that movie called with? Uh, with Fred no, no, Armisen. No, no, no. Re remix. Redo. Reboot. The redux. redux. Was Jay is that Silent the last Bob movie reboot. we watched together? That's God, how brutal. Embarrassing. Before before we get out of here, well, what whose pick is it next week? Uh, either me or you. Didn't I already right? go? No, or you can throw the predictions. Alec or Sean. Yeah, what I is what is the month? Tom Hanks. Thanksgiving. Uh, okay. Pick Philadelphia. No. Good God. Don't too that, long. Was other, that was God's other choice. That yeah, God's was like, you missed it, Sean. Last week, he's like, I'm either going to pick how high or Philadelphia. You know, it's like, Jesus Christ. Really running the gambit. <laughs> Uh, just, just. Um, all right, uh, Alec, you got a pick. Um, I have between one of two. It's gonna be one of his Apple TV movies. I was gonna pick Saving Private Ryan, but that's like three hours long. I really do want to watch that. That again, movie's though. fucking awesome, though. Yeah, yeah that movie. I thought rock. about picking that, but yeah, I almost well, went Joe versus the volcano. I, I'm mad I didn't pick a uh, bachelor party. Quite, honestly. I might pick the Burbs, but I'm undecided I, I like at the moment. That movie. I, real quick though, what, um, is, is Philadelphia the pivot point between funny Hanks to dramatic Hanks? It's in dramatic movies. Yeah, are you that. saying Philadelphia is not funny? <laughs> there's a there's a great joke of Philadelphia. It's like how does a, a gay dude fake an orgasm? He throws a quart of hot yogurt on your back. Like that's that's still funny. Like <laughs> still tracks. I wow. No, I didn't even. I I don't think I've ever seen Phil. I've never seen. Explain it to me like I'm a five year old. That was so. Like I remember, maybe it's not a pivot point for that, but that was when I started watching movies constantly, like the same movie a million times. You know what I mean? So there's so many of those movies I just remember lots of shit from. Yeah. Well, Uh, Alex, what you got? What are you thinking? uh, I got one of two. You guys can pick which one. It's one of the Apple TV movies he did. It's either the robot one. Finch or Greyhound? The robot one or the World War II? Uh, no, I'm going to go robot. Every, robot. Yeah, you got to go day, robot every day. Every day. Yeah. Boat movie. Finch. Robot. Finch. 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 Robot. Finch. Finch. It is. I'm uh, trying to go back and see what the last movie we watched together was, but that gap that we lost did not repopulate an Apple podcast. It jumps from... March of 2019 to February of 2021. Damn. Um, real quick, did any of you see the extended trailer they played during football yesterday for Zack Snyder, visionary director Zack Snyder's film Rebel Moon? No, no but no. I'm gonna. We have to watch that when I it know we comes do. out. Uh, like, somehow this, the this, rules. this new trailer looked even I know worse than the last one. Um, but yeah. we well, we saw a trailer last night for a movie mm. that might be movie of the year. Okay, um, starring Elizabeth or Elizabeth Emily Blunt and Baby Goose as the Fall Guy. Ooh, you guys remember that, that show with the Majors? Majors? Remember yeah. the Majors yeah. show? Uh, yeah. you, uh, do I remember it? I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I'm no ladies' man. Like the fucking song, like yeah, like I die for a living in the movies and TV. Okay, okay. I, 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 I jump from a tall building. That trailer my... looks so goddamn good. The trailer it looks tremendous. Who's directing it? Anybody? Uh, David Leitch. I don't know who that Leitch. is. The yeah, John Wick director? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. I'll check that out. Like, Baby Goose is baby goosing it all over the place, and it looks I mean, he's lovely. Great. It looks excellent. And he's, the whole trailer is covered with uh, uh, You Give Love a Bad Name. Ooh. Oh, it's so call. fucking good. I got I so jacked up just watching that trailer. I was like, this is awesome. I once, oh, I, know regaled, what... I once regaled Alec at karaoke with that song once. It was brilliant. I know what my pick is, by the way. Mm. Which is? Is Charlie Wilson's War of the Movie about how he gave the Afghans all those fucking stinger missiles and no Topical. comeuppance? Mm. Topical. All right. <laughs> yeah. I like that movie. It is yeah. incredibly historically inaccurate, but it's a... Oh, it's yeah. A yeah, they... they uh, yeah, good the, old uh, Chuck Wilson. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm, but good... Uh, anyway, Old that's then. the show, I think. Uh, Zack right. Snyder's Rebel Moon. It, it, when does that come it, out? Next month. Uh, so yeah, we will have to watch it when it drops. It'll be our Crimbo episode. I believe, though, uh, more importantly, the Scott Pilgrim anime, I think, comes out this week. This, th- like, Friday, I think. I'm really looking forward to that. Is anyone anyway, anything about the David Fincher real quick will, killer movie? will not let us go. Uh, yes, oh, it's right, getting right. amazing reviews. I need All to right. watch it. I might it's watch it now, Plex. right? Yeah. It's on the Plex because Anthony doesn't have Netflix. So you, if you don't, if you don't fire up the old Netflix. I, Sean's about to also not have Netflix because they're raising it to like $48 a month or some yeah, shit. I think none of us are going to have it soon. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah. everything we get is going to be TJ, you put this on the Plex. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't have, and I, I don't have a problem with that, so it's fine. Everything's yeah. gonna, like everything's getting so expensive. I, 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 in fact, I see it as my civic duty. I mean, they said uh, Disney Plus has lost like several billion dollars so far. Yeah, but they're still going on. They're still churning out stuff. Yeah. This, I know we're trying to go, but real quick, I was watching the show and they're talking about that whole fiasco, and they said like multiple of those Marvel shows didn't have showrunners. They just kind of let the directors do whatever. And that's like, why, and that's why, like, it's not work. Like, that's that's the problem. Like, they just they just don't fucking they they like they're skipping all the steps, right? Like, it's like it, remember when um they made those two Star Wars movies and they uh, supposedly Ryan Johnson nor J J Abrams nor Colin Trevor mm-hmm. like none of them read the other scripts for the movies. Like that yeah. seems fucking psychotic. Yeah, and look what happened to those movies. Like they're fucking. Mess. They were like, all masterpieces. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm misremembering. And nary a bad word was said about them. Yeah, yeah I think we we devoted, I don't know, probably six, seven hours to how much we hated the second one. I still haven't uh, seen the last one. Don't, Same. Just don't. Still haven't. Just don't. Yeah. I uh, I will say that I am Star Wars free, and I've never been happier. <laughs> well, that's not yeah, not I'm miserable, yeah. but, uh, you know, I just... At least the, I'm not, like, all the, the shows and stuff, like, they're all just... I don't care. Yeah, I, just don't, I don't care. And and uh, the one show looks pretty good. The one with uh with uh, Rosario Dawson and Mez, Mary Elizabeth Wood Martin. Smoosh. Oh, Wood Smoosh. Careful on that. Careful on that ledge. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, let them know. Yeah, I'll text her. If, if you don't hear back from Clinton Portis, please text Rosario Dawson. Very inside joke. Um, if anyway. she fucked Eric Andre, she'd fuck any of us. That's my contention. Dude, she. And she's is she still Corey, Corey Booker. Booker? Come on, dude. Come on. Yeah. You definitely get that. Yeah. He's yeah. All right, everybody. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye.